Uh, so it was pretty much me hanging out with, uh, in particular, some Australian dudes <laughs> this week. Did you come back with an uh, accent? <laughs> uh, a little bit, Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they they were radical, man. We yeah. had a really good time. Uh, shouts out uh, Matt and Joel, very cool dudes. All right, um, but it, it was just cool, man. Like we just kind of like spent the week in between working, just kind of exchanging culture and uh, and talking about that's awesome subtle differences and stuff. We had a really good time. So Australians are very much they. Uh, have you ever heard of Vegemite? Never, never heard of Vegemite. Okay, so it is apparently like a sandwich spread made from the gooey stuff that's left over when you make beer. Okay. It's this really like salty, bready. It's like the resin of beer. It is looks like resin even. Um uh Shit. but they eat that on everything and they uh they were uh, cuz I had asked them I was like, "Hey, that's like the only Australian export I know about." And they were like, "We love it. <laughs> we love it, Mike." Uh, so yeah. Okay. What do they, what, what do they think of Outback? <laughs> uh, you know, they said they kind of like Outback. Really? Like I asked okay. them, I was like, is that corny? And they were like, nah, it's good food. You know, I <laughs> like it. Okay. Um, I, I did take them to a Buffalo Wild Wings. Shut up. Um, oh, that's awesome. I'm not even kidding. There was one right across from the place we worked. In okay. In fact, and I, I was like our second or third day there. Yeah. It was like friends, mates even. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys are tracking Buffalo Wild Wings, but it's a revelation. And so they were like, sounds good. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> we we uh, hoofed it over there, man. And uh, I did convince one of them to try the the tennis or wait, the Nashville hot. Is that what you get? Right. Were, I like Nashville hot. I did a three way split. I had a 15 piece, which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, I did a three way split with my Nashville hot, my Asian zing oh. and uh I think it's sweet jalapeno was my third. Asian zing is unbeatable. Unbeatable, dude. Man. It's so, so good. good. Man. So what? Okay. I'm dying to know what they think. They loved it. They yeah, did? They, yeah. They were, yeah, yeah they, they were really enjoying themselves. That's awesome. We got uh, chips and salsa, which is a thing, you know, like seems simple, but they don't really do sure. chips and salsa over there. Yeah. Um, trying to think of what else we got uh we did have the the conversation about uh boneless wings versus chicken nuggets um i personally i don't believe in boneless wings it's <laughs> it's it's a false fallacy no uh, it's not a real thing no they're it's plenty not, real man let me tell you i if anything they're just chicken pieces maybe not nuggets i don't care they taste so so they're good all... in my sweet mouth i don't care <laughs> you eat it off the bone like a man <sighs> so did they get <laughs> traditional one did, one didn't. Yeah, one dude, uh, one dude got just traditional wings. The other dude got got chicken. Nuggets, who who so. saw the truth, Matt or Joel? Who got the boneless? I think they both enjoyed what they got. Okay. I I listen. I don't mind the boneless wings, but I'd rather eat it off the bone, man. There's something about the it's part of the experience. It's like eating crab. Yeah, I don't to me, a little bit of work just makes it taste even better. Too you much. Know what I mean, too much friction between food in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to fight for it no. you just want it to be a yeah. one, one-sided no. okay. yeah okay we're uh were they also notified like 72 hours before they were going there that they were going there <laughs> no that was unique to me uh <laughs> that was pretty unique to me they all had a pretty good grasp on what they were there to do but uh me yeah, i was just kind of like <clears throat> you said that talking what are we did they recognize you at all uh, a couple of them did. Um, That's cool. uh, one guy who he's Australian, but I believe he works in the states. But he did come up and and say, "Hey, do you, you make TikToks?" And I was like, <laughs> occasionally. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I got I got noticed uh, uh, once or twice, I can, mostly by Americans though. Uh, they were just kind of hanging out in the area. I could listen to that accent all day, man. <laughs> it's so it was, entertaining, it, bro. <laughs> It is cool, man. They have a lot of fun ways that they said, like, they kept saying, uh, like, when they go to a place, like, when they arrive at a place, they'll say, we rocked up. Like, hey, we rocked up to the museum, or we rocked up to the, <laughs> All right. the place. And I was like, I thought that was like, are you saying rocked up? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, rocked up, like arrived. It's like, oh, we should start using cool that. cool way to say that, brother. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We rocked up. A little unnecessary, but I like it. A little bit of flair. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of spiced. Yeah. Rock rocked up to the DMV, man. I'm never rocking up. 
That's but yeah, no, it was, a, it was an interesting week. Very fun week. I got to meet uh, not just them, but, uh, you know, uh, talk to a couple guys from Great Britain who were very cool. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was a very interesting time. 